Hi everybody, this is Luke, and I'll be honest here, I thought that a shift sensor was not something I needed, and surely it wasn't something I wanted. So, what happened? Well, let's get straight to it. I had a problem. I love my Bofangi bike, but the handlebar was positioned too low, causing less visibility and more fatigue on my back. That's why I bought one of those stem razors. The installation went as expected and the product seems to be solid. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to solve my issue. This is the shifting cable housing, which is too short here on the front, preventing me to raise the handlebar to the optimal angle. So yeah, I had to replace the housing and I said to myself, this is a good opportunity to also install a shift sensor. And I bought one. In the next minutes, I'm gonna guide you to the installation of the shift sensor and, if you feel like needing it, you can replace the shifting cable housing like I did.
After replacing the shifting cable housing, I was finally able to raise my handlebar. And that was a pleasure that is very hard to describe by words. But I know what you guys want to know about. The shift sensor. Was it worth it? Do I notice any difference? Before all, I should first explain how I used to change gears before the installation of the shift sensor. As I said in previous videos, I have a brake sensor on my left brake lever, the front one. Since it's a mechanical brake, I adjust it in a way that, with a soft pull of the lever, instead of actually braking, I just activate the brake sensor. Much like pulling a clutch on a regular motorbike, this way I can momentarily stop the motor while I change the gear. Once I've changed it, I can release the brake, allowing the motor to engage again. Only problem with this process is the delay between the release of the lever and the actual engagement. It can take around a second, which feels like a lot. Now, do I pull the lever anymore? Yes, cause habits are hard to kill, but do I need to? No. If I change the gear, the motor will immediately stop. Just to re-engage again a fraction of a second after the last shift cable movement. This feels way smoother. I'm impressed, and all my skepticism was just wiped away. Still, if I need to change multiple gears, say from 3 to 5, I will pull that brake lever. This is because if you're not fast enough to shift multiple gears altogether, the motor will just start and stop repeatedly, causing some stress, both on you and your chain. That said, do I suggest you go for it? Well, yes, but not necessarily. If you're familiar with the derailleur, you're already planning a shift cable replacement, or you want to gain those few milliseconds for the most efficient acceleration, I'd say yes. For how much it costs, it's definitely an upgrade you won't regret. But do you actually need it? In my opinion, if you use your brake sensor to disengage the motor, you won't need it more than you will need a brake sensor. The shift sensor is a nice to have, while a brake sensor could save a life. If you want to know more about brake sensor, here's a video for you. If you like this content instead, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future videos, and if you think these videos are doing something meaningful, consider donating using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.